What's going on YouTube? Now I'm here and I'm back here with another banger video. And yes, so y'all see today's title and thumbnail. I'm gonna be telling y'all how I made ninety thousand dollars in one month with my clothing brand at the age of sixteen years old. Y'all new? Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. If y'all already don't know who I am, feel me? I started my clothing brand at fifteen years old, and I started with no money, bro. That's why I feel like it's so crazy that I made over ninety thousand just in one month. It was actually over summer vacation of last year, literally in school. Like I'm still, I'm going into my junior year, and I made ninety thousand dollars in one month. Like, I probably had, like, probably, like, $200 for my name. I literally started with no job or no nothing whatsoever. Like, my clothing brand stuff is basically, like, my first ever job, but I wouldn't really call this a job for real. But I literally started with no job. I used to graphic design for people. I used to make commissions. I used to make thumbnails. I used to make YouTube banners, all that. I'm going to just put basically some examples of I was doing that for a while but it wasn't really getting like a lot of money so my mindset when I was starting my clothing brand bro there's no way I could like lose right now like I'm 15 years old I'm I couldn't even get a job at the time so I was literally just starting my clothing brand doing it every day because I used to be one of those people that would just play games all day like I used to play Call of Duty a lot I used to play Fortnite like I literally used to be playing games all day I just told myself that I just like if I'm playing games all day I have time to work on my brand and work on a business like because I used to have a shoe business as well that wasn't really going crazy at that time so i was like you know what let me just start my clothing brand if it do bad it do bad like i'm not losing nothing from it that was just my mindset at the time like quitting wasn't really an option for me like i literally just never thought about quitting my brand because i'm just doing it because if it go bad it go bad i'm just do it because i like it feel me and i was just making clothes because i liked it that was basically just my whole background on this bro like i wasn't i never started with a bunch of money a job bro like i was literally 15 15 years old 3 a.m motivation i wanted to make clothes i was like I wasn't even in profit for the first like five, six months, bro. So that's what I'm telling y'all, bro. When y'all want to start y'all brand, bro, make sure y'all actually doing something y'all like because it took me about like my first, I would say six months because I had dropped my first job August 2022. And uh, basically a year later is when I got my first uh, 90K month. There was two products, bro. I had two products on my store, on my website. I was doing pre-orders with mine. So I just left my website open all, all the time. And it was actually with my two most viral products at the time. It was my STMT shorts, which it was the summer. And a lot of people was buying those, but I think I did around like 20K in that time. I wasn't doing as good as the hoodies, bro. Cause the hoodies is like the main soul of that whole drop. I have my shorts on the website and I'm doing pre-orders. So the website is open all month. My hoodies and I think my tees. I'm not sure if my tees were out yet, but. Bro, I've been selling these hoodies. These hoodies made me over three hundred thousand dollars. These hoodies been going viral for years. Like since I first dropped these hoodies, been going viral. If you guys want to hold another video on that, how I basically made three hundred thousand dollars with one hoodie, let me know down below in the comments because I would definitely give y'all a video. On them. Yeah, these hoodies been going crazy. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It took me about three to four months to perfect them. And in the highest month, I would say in August, that was when I was really promoting myself and getting into paid ads. For me, paid ads is what really blew my brand. Cause I was using my organic content because i was organic with my clothing brand i would say up until august for me because that was my first month using it when i first started using paid ads i was literally using the viral organic posts that i got and i was running paid tiktok ads to them i already knew i'm like bro once i get into ads i could literally skyrocket this brand bro like i could skyrocket this product like crazy so and i went the route of tiktok ads i did not know if they were good or bad at the time i literally just tried it and i was just seeing what worked for me at the time and what worked was running ads on my tiktoks that were already going viral for me because i would just push it out to see more people like once a viral video was going kind of dying i would just run a promote on it run a boost on it and literally just run that ad and that was really working for my brand at the time if y'all want a more in-depth video on how like on like tiktok ads and all that stuff definitely let me know down below in the comments i was also running ig boost because i was having like a giveaway post on there ig boost was going to but I, w I wouldn't say that was kind of like it was kind of helping my brand i'm not really sure because you can't tell on ig boost just basically take what's what was already working and just make it unique and make it your liking and make it actually your style posting on tiktok i was doing the aesthetic videos because those was really going crazy for me at the time at this time though i was definitely going on sms too um i had a specific photo so when people bought it they get an image from me i'm gonna go ahead and just put an image on the screen it's like a got them picture purchase it they would get sent the uh, picture to, like the corresponding hoodie right let's say you ordered a black hoodie then you would get a hoodie with a black i had that every single time someone ordered they would literally get and they will post it repost it for a percent off their next order everybody's reposting these got em filters when people are reposting and the people actually like the hoodie they're gonna be like okay they see this got them photo like they just copped it like that's hard and they finna go ahead and cop one on their own that was literally what i was doing that helped my brand a lot i'm not even gonna lie like that month i probably did around like 
30, 40K off of SMS alone because people was resharing that. And I was literally just targeting the same people every single day. So it was going crazy, bro. That's why I tell everybody, SMS, your SMS list is literally going to be your best friend because you can get to tell them. Anytime it's like a new discount day, like I would just be like on a random Friday. Hey, everyone, new discount, free shipping today. Then a bunch of people will order just because they're saying they signed up for that list. I don't recommend IG Boost unless it's like a giveaway post, but y'all should definitely go ahead and run meta ads instead because at this time, I wasn't knowing if any of my sales was conversion because you don't get that information off of IG Boost. I just thought that, okay, it's a lot of sales coming in. So I made it so like where if someone see my video, they could tell that it's from me, feel me? So I'm gonna just go ahead and put up a few videos that was doing good. I actually boosted my brand up crazy to the sales. So y'all could go ahead and just see like the variety of different videos, like the type of content I was doing. And also another one is to have your shop. You guys know the app shop. Make sure y'all guys sign up for that on y'all brand too. That actually contributed to a lot of my sales, bro, because a lot of people are gonna shop through shop because it's a third party trusted app, bro. You can't see mine because I don't have service, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put a screen recording up. If you guys have shop, it literally gives your customer like another protection of the order because they trust Shopify. It's like a trusted third party service. Yeah, you guys can get shop through your Shopify because like they're built both like the Shopify is the parent company. Good part of the sales was from shop pay because a lot of people actually trust that platform since it is run by Shopify. But another thing is I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all you guys are going to leave your, your website open and going to do pre-orders. Make sure you guys are contact support. Make sure you guys have an actual separate support team for that. Make sure you are sitting out and go ahead and responding to all your customers emails bro because with pre-order a lot of people wouldn't trust pre-order now but because a bunch of clothing brands actually do be scamming but a lot of people just don't trust pre-order because they're they need it right at that second. So if you're doing pre-order make sure you're giving your customers updates bro because that leads to chargebacks and you guys do not want chargebacks on Shopify. Shopify will hold your money so if you're watching this bro if you were thinking about signing a clothing brand and doing pre-order I was leaving a website open every month because so I will have like three to four weeks shipping on my products so if you guys want to do that make sure you guys leaving your customers updated because then I just leave some bad reviews and all that good stuff and y'all don't want that because that can actually take a hit in y'all sales you guys want to get them good reviews that's actually a good another way is a Shopify app you guys make sure you guys have reviews on y'all products bro y'all guys want to have good reviews all you guys wondering basically how I was able to leave my website running so what I was doing was I was paying my manufacturer every single week for a bulk of shipment so let's say Monday through Friday I get let's say 200 orders or let's say 300 orders on Friday, I was sent out over to my manufacturer and because at this time I was running with a Pakistan manufacturer so they could get their shipping time fast and all that good stuff. Monday through Friday, I was leaving the website. Like every single day, I was leaving the website open. And I suggest y'all do leave y'all website open, bro, if you guys have inventory. But make, I'm telling y'all, bro, having your website open is literally like, because you guys don't know who is going to have that random 3 a.m. motivation and want to go buy on your clothes, bro. I'm telling y'all, yesterday, I woke up to $800 just because people were buying at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know that 3 your motivation when people want to be a fashion designer is real bro it's real people literally buy my tees every single morning 2 a.m 1 a.m summer people want to be people are going to be having that 3 a.m motivation so that's why i was like i'm going to be smart about this i'm going to leave my website open so you can generate the most sales if you guys don't want to do that then hey that's just on y'all i have a print on demand site with my tees so when someone orders it takes about two to three days and then i don't actually ship it no more with my tees i'm about to do my last shipment video y'all can already see it, these are just like a little bit of them print on demand with my tees so basically i don't have to ship out anymore with pakistan you get some good and you get some bad bro and i was getting a lot of messed up hoodies at that time because I was getting a lot of orders, a thousand orders that month. I was getting a lot of defective hoodies, which caused my, me to actually refund customers and to actually like waste money on that whole shipping process and game. When my manufacturer would mess up on an order, it literally delays that customer because I have to tell my manufacturer, send them pictures. They were just sending me defective hoodies because, and y'all know Pakistan, they might be good at shipping times, but bro, they're gonna send you some defective hoodies sometimes. That order refunds that month probably was going towards the 100,000 mark because I think I made 89,000 that was after the refunds but that whole month bro I was going towards 100k like I was I probably was at like 98k but the refunds which caused customers delay some people want to refunds but it was all good at the end because at the end I got my hoodies back I just gave away the defective hoodies so it's a one-win in my situation but that was kind of the only problem I was facing that month was the defective hoodies it was it could have been done which is getting a China manufacturer. That's why I tell y'all, get a China, China manufacturer, bro. I'm telling y'all. Y'all want to work with me one on one, so y'all don't got to worry about manufacturers. Y'all don't got to worry about graphic design. I'm choosing 10 spots for people to do one on one mentorship with me. If you guys want to go ahead and work with me one on one, scale your clothing brand, go ahead and apply down below. I only got a few spots left because some people have taken that spots up. So, if you're watching this right now, this is this is your sign. I have a bunch of new drops planned, bro. Like I told y'all, my art gallery tees. I'm going to just go ahead and show y'all. If y'all don't know my art gallery tees, I'm, I just dropped these. These are actually now print on demand, so 
you guys want to go ahead and go cop these these the shipping on those times is really good if y'all don't know what print on demand is basically i don't have to touch nothing they get the order they print the order and they ship it out so i don't gotta worry none i don't gotta ship it out these are probably like my last orders that's going out plus i got probably like i think 200 t's at my house so after that shipment everything is going to be print on demand literally i already got i got some pre protect your art hoodies left so if you guys want to go ahead and shop with me to hit the link down below it's going to be in my clothing brand it's not hard bro you guys can literally go start your clothing brand and get 90k months bro it's crazy how i started this at 15 years old 3 a.m motivation i know them little 3 a.m motivation spikes bro it's crazy because i started everything everything like this bro i'm just hoping we on a road to i'm trying to hit a mil a million in sales this year we already halfway there we got some new job know everything we just gonna continue working bro i'm telling you it's the summer one more school you have one more year of school left bro i'm finna be a senior so if y'all watching this bro i just want to know what i'm saying just give y'all this story just for quick motivation all that good stuff just to tell y'all that anybody could do it if i did that 16 with no if i did that 15 with no money i have no job i never had a job in my life bro if y'all want to do, you know what I'm saying, just quick little motiva motivation for y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all like this video, you know what I'm saying. If y'all new, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, bro. You guys want to work one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me, I'm scaling y'all clothing brands, five, six figures, you know what I'm saying. Y'all get literally this personal phone. Y'all get personal access to me with this phone. Y'all see the phone I carry with all my videos, you know what I'm saying. My business phone, my mentee phone right here. Y'all get one-on-one -on -one personal access, so if you need help with your clothing brand, anything you need, you can literally just hit me up any time of the day. And I got y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all, I'm only taking five to ten spots, bro. Even know if you apply doesn't mean that you will actually get picked i'm only um picking people that are serious about their clothing brands so click the link down below hit that like button subscribe i'll catch y'all in the next one bro. But if I saw me and did it, I'm headed to Zillow And I don't follow the media much Cause I sleep on the kid like a pillow wow. huh. Tell me baby, what's your info? Girl, I'm really tryna fuck Put your face down, got your tapping windows